Alright. So <clears throat> this is how I do arm bar from spider web, right? Uh, if it's EBI rules, it'll be like this, right? But let's start let's start like this, just for the sake. I'll show you how to how to finish that later, right? So the biggest issue with arm bars is people always want to pull this direction, right? And pulling this direction often, yeah, it doesn't help the fact that he can keep rotating the shoulder out, right? So to stop the momentum, right? If I take this out, rotate your shoulder out, his shoulder has to rotate to come out, right? Yeah, exactly. Now come back in, come back in, come back in, right? So in order to first stop the arm bar, you just have to stop the shoulder. So instead of pulling backwards, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna curl up all the way over it like I'm doing a choke. You see how deep this elbow is, right? It's not on this side, right? Look at how if it's on this side, this turns into a bar, right? And this is, I see a lot of people do this, and it's like this. No, all the way over, chest is touching and choke. I'm now choking the arm, right? And notice, I'm all the way scooted in, right? Almost my, my crotch is right on top of his shoulder almost, right? And from here, instead of pulling backwards, I'm not gonna pull backwards at all. I'm gonna start lifting up like I'm doing a deadlift. So I'm pushing into the ground and straightening my lower back. Bah, like this, right? And I'm, I'm doing a good, uh, as best job as I can of keeping this to where the elbow is under, like I'm choking, right? I don't wanna detach. This is, my, this is the no-no, is I never wanna leave the elbow. The elbow always stays to my body. And as soon as it's up, go ahead, clinch this deeper, right? So sometimes if you're strong enough, you can even just get this all the way up, right? And pop it open, right? But the key again is never to separate from the uh, elbow. If I, as soon as I do this, the pressure gets off of his shoulder. Yeah, and he can start coming out. If this pressure back this way, it doesn't stop him from sneaking this out, right? But if I pull up on it, sneak that elbow out. Can you? No, right? If you pull up, because I'm pulling up on his shoulder, Right, you can't get out, right? So pull up on the shoulder, but say he's super strong like Omar is, right? And I, so now I need to break this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go under now. I'm gonna go under this way, bah! And I'm gonna connect my body to the forearm right here. So I'm, tr I'm closing like a door on this. Bah, 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 bah. And I'm coming as high as I can with this arm, boom, to my ear right here. And again, connecting it, trying to connect it to my body. Yeah, go ahead, tighten up more. Right? And so the biggest problem here, and so now I'm gonna take this arm out, right, and clasp it here. And now I'm gonna fall towards my ear. And don't jerk this, just fall. It'll start opening up, right? So a lot of people, they, they'll be here, right? They'll get it and they'll come here and they'll do this. Jerk, jerk, jerk. It's not like that. We're just using gravity. We're coming here, up, opening it up, boom. And I'm just sitting on it to let it open. Right? And again, I'm not falling ever back this way. Because what happens, if they do it perfectly, they come here and they come all the way through like this and they're on this side and then they just had to pull here, look it. I'm back in this notch again, right? I'm back right here fighting this. This is a different muscle group, right? Than when I isolate. When I'm here, boom, I'm isolating for a Kimura. You see, I'm isolating. So let go of this really quick. The arm rotation is like this. It's a lot weaker than if I'm pulling this way. Great, flex this way. He can hold this all day. And if, even if I am able to pull this, I still have to get this, right? But as soon as I pull this up and I connect my body along the forearm like this, right? So I posture straight up and with my posture, bah, I connect to the side. And look, I fall towards his head and open it. You see how it opens like this? Right, so this is weaker. This is a weaker mo movement for him. You don't see guys in the gym, right, doing curls like this, right? That's why Kimuras work. This is, you're opening it like a Kimura, right? So one more time, we're here, we're under this way. Again, if you're under like, if you start under like this, this is fine. You can either, you can either switch it before you go up or you can switch it when you go up, right? So if I'm down here, I'm really crunched into it, I'm choking. I'm choking it, I'm choking it, I need to switch. I switch, but I stay nice and tight, right? And from here, I start bridging up, right? Oh, now I bridge it all the way, I come under, boom. Again, fall this way instead of that way. I'm falling out like a crescent, okay? Good job, thanks.